Well, one in five Canadians will suffer with mental illness, but only a fraction of those people will talk about it and will seek help. This week, Bell Let's Talk Day hopes to end the silence and break the stigma that has surrounded mental illness. And with your help, through texting and with long-distance calls, money will be raised to support programs across the country. Mary Beth Burton reports. Welcome to baby massage class at the Mothering Touch. It's in group settings like these that one of the most talked about forms of mental illness, postpartum depression, is discussed. And it can go just from sadness to uh, a real serious clinical depression or anxiety disorder, which makes it impossible to function. The baby blues was a taboo topic until about a decade ago. Now women are finding by going public, they're getting support. Anywhere from 20 to 40 percent of moms suffer from postpartum depression, but if you think this is an all-female illness, you're wrong. In fact, increasingly we're identifying that fathers have postpartum depression, that after their babies are born, men also feel unhappy because their lives are changed and they're stressed and they're worried. Summer and Winter Olympic medalist Clara Hughes is the spokesperson for Bell's Let's Talk Day. What you might not know about me is that for two difficult years I battled depression. One in five Canadians will battle mental illness. And many will not get the help they need because they're afraid to talk about it. On Wednesday, Bell will donate five cents for every long distance call or text message from their customers to mental health support programs across the country. Talking about it makes them realize how very common mental health problems are, how very common it is, how they're not alone, how important it is to uh, talk and share their problems with others early on. Mental illness took its tragic toll on Kathy and Eric Mueller. Murder-suicide is what police and the coroner's service determined was the cause of their deaths at their Cadborough Bay oceanfront home last month. It's our belief really that there's two victims, that Kathy and Eric were a victim of of, of mental illness and depression. Victoria's Courtnell brothers are back hosting a star-studded fundraiser this summer in honor of their father who committed suicide and to help those who are suffering now. If we can see or help one family not to go through that, that's why we do this. The family of Stuart Langridge has also bravely brought mental illness in the military to light. On March 15, 2008, our son lost his battle with post-traumatic stress disorder and hanged himself in a barrack room at CFB Edmonton. And now you can add your voice, breaking the silence on mental illness. Watch Let's Talk segments on Canada AM, eTalk, CTV News and CTV News Channel, The Marilyn Dennis Show, MTV, Much Music and TSN. In Victoria, Mary Beth Burton, A News.